When I said I could probably think of a hundred things to do in Singapore, I wasn't lying. And although this video doesn't have a hundred, here are 20 more things that you can do on your next trip to this beautiful island. So let's get right into it. Sitting at number one is to walk and hang out along the promenade. The promenade is absolutely gorgeous. You can take photos, go for a nice stroll. I also saw a ton of people taking an evening run there, which was really beautiful and relaxing. Number two is to go to the Iron Orchard Food Court located in the Iron Orchard Mall. This food court is crazy and you can get delicious things like this amazing chocolate Japanese cheesecake, which I still can't stop thinking about until this day. You can get some great Earl Grey milk tea, anything, you name it. Number three is the National Gallery and this is the Art Gallery of Singapore. While you are appreciating this art, you can go to the restaurant called Violet Oon within the National Gallery and have some amazing afternoon tea. This afternoon tea is so delicious and it's halal if you stick to a halal diet. Up next, number four is to go to Toast Box for Kaya Toast. Kaya Toast is basically toast with coconut jam on it. It's a sweet little treat, common for breakfast, but also you can have it as a snack throughout the day as well if you need a good pick-me-up. Very delicious. Number five is to go to the Adam Road Food Center, which online is advertised as being fully halal. However, I found maybe about 50% of the stalls, maybe a little bit more are halal. But nonetheless, it's worth it to go check out and have some delicious food and try some new foods as well. After the Adam Food Center, you can take a five minute walk over to the National Botanic or the Orchid Garden. The Orchid Garden is in the Botanic Gardens, uh, so you can go for a stroll, Check out the beautiful flowers. It's really nice, really relaxing. Seven is to go to the Buddhist Relic Temple in Chinatown. This temple is a piece of work. It's so gorgeous and the architecture is amazing. And it's even more beautiful at nighttime as shown in this photo. Number eight is to go to the Singapore Zoo and check out some awesome animals. And something even more unique is to go to the night safari at the zoo and this is just such a cool experience. You can see all the wildlife kind of at night hanging out. Very unique, very different. It was pretty nice. Uh, number 10 is to take the Singapore cable car, which is also a great experience. You get some astonishing views of the whole island. Really fun. And nothing like a good cable car experience to give you a different perspective of any city or any island. So highly recommend to do this whenever you go somewhere. Number 11 is Sentosa Island. The cable car will take you to Sentosa Island. And Sentosa Island just has it all. You could spend a few days here if you really wanted. There's so much to do. There's even a bigger merlion on the island, bigger than the one on the main area of Singapore. Um, number 12 is Palawan Beach, which is a beach on Sentosa Island. Really beautiful, very relaxed. So you can come here and kind of escape city life if you want. And number 13 is Universal Studios. I don't think I need to say too much more about this. Universal Studios is a world of its own on the island. You could spend the entire day here as well, just hanging out and going on the rides and going through the different experiences. Literally, you could spend a few days on Sentosa Island and I could do another video on it as well because there's just so much going on. Number 14 is to go to the Fort Canning Park. This park is right across the a street from Clark Key, which I went over in my last video. So if you're hanging out in that area, definitely check out this park. There are a bunch of stairs there, so just make sure you're wearing some comfortable shoes. But it's nothing too crazy or strenuous. Um, the views are gorgeous. You kind of just get a view of the city or the island of Singapore. Um, you can also just kind of go and Take a stroll through the park, check out the greenery. They have some really beautiful flowers as well. So a very chilled out thing to do if you have some time. Number 15 is to go to the Esplanade Theater, which is, you guessed it, a theater on the Esplanade or the promenade or the water there. And highly recommend you walk around and check out the architecture because it is very unique and just very pretty to look at. And again, it's right on the water, so it's very chill. It's just a nice vibe. You can walk around. Um, you can catch ballets, concerts, or just events at the theater, which you can buy tickets for at the booth there or online in advance. There were lots of people just walking around biking. There's also a bunch of food stalls as well as restaurants in the theater as well. 
Number 16 is to go to the iconic and historic Raffles Hotel, which is absolutely breathtaking and it has so much history behind it. You can go to have a meal at the restaurant here or the highly sought after afternoon tea. Number 17 is to go to the Iron Sky Observatory, which is on top of the Iron Orchard Mall. And just getting to the top is such a unique experience as well. And then you get to the top and you get all these crazy views of the entire island. And it's quite the experience, so I really do recommend it. As you can see here, they really do put on a show for you every step of the way up. Unfortunately, Singapore is cloudy all the time, um, but it has its own charm, right? So I loved it and I still recommend that you go up there just to get some nice views. Number 18 is to go to the Singapore Flyer. The Singapore Flyer is Singapore's version of the London Eye or the Dubai Ain. As you may have seen, there's a ton of Ferris wheels in all of these iconic spots and this is Singapore's version. So you can go on here and get some amazing views again of the island, just a nice experience. And if you go in the evening, it's even nicer because you can see the whole island at night, which I think is a truly different experience. Number 19 is to go to the OCBC Skywalk and these are on the Super Tree Groves in the Marina Bay Sands Gardens. Um, so you go and it's just this little bridge connecting the tree groves and you can walk across it. And again, if you go in the evening, it's really pretty because it's all lit and it's just different. It uh, looks very, very nice. But you can go through this bridge and just take in the views. You see Marina Bay Sands in the, on, in the back over there. Um, so just a nice little stroll through. And number 20 is the Maxwell Hawker Center, which is another food court. And this one is actually the famous one that was featured in Crazy Rich Asians. If you watch that movie and are into it, that movie actually is what inspired me to even want to go to Singapore. And this food center was just, it was so nice being there and just experiencing it um, through the movie. And it's also right across the street from the Buddhist Relic Temple. So if you're in the area checking that out, you can go to the food center after or vice versa. So there you have it. There are 20 more things that you can do on your next trip to the beautiful island of Singapore. I could go on and on, but here you have it for now. If you're looking for 20 other things to do in Singapore, then I highly suggest that you check out this video next. And if you got any value from this video, make sure to hit that subscribe button so you're notified anytime I upload similar videos. I will probably be doing a what I ate in Singapore video next. So again, make sure you are subscribed so that you can follow along and get some ideas for your next trip. I'll catch you in the next video.